Yes, today's lesson is about sodium chloride, also known as table salt. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yes. Actually, it's about food. Okay. Whether you like chemistry or whether you like food or whether you like, you know, uh, Jesus talking about things that people know about but never think about. He always does that takes things that you know that are all around us that people come across all the time like they were all they were all shepherds and fishermen and he talked to fishermen about fish and he talked to shepherds about sheep and he talked to farmers about wheat and he talked to everybody about salt because that's what people usually eat it's all around them and he took things that are you know in our everyday life and he made lessons out of them that's what he did Ryendra, stop playing, listen carefully. He said, you are the salt of the earth. But when salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? I mean, salt is supposed to be salty. What if you're not salty anymore? He said, you, we, we, we are the salt. But if we're not salty anymore, how can we be made salty? It can't, he says. It will be thrown out to be trampled by men. You are... And he continues, the light of the world. And what do you do with light? You put it where it can shine and give light to the people around it. And so, let your light shine before men so that people may praise your Father in heaven. That was his lesson. Today, we'll uh, talk about salt. Okay, let's read about salt now. Salt and light. Here we go. We have a few hands raised, don't we? Yeah. Um um who read yesterday Rayendra and Asit right okay we'll have we'll have Guyana no, no, sir. no sir I am not done with no, no. no I and someone else read yesterday Either, sir, sir, I didn't read. Read. sir I didn't read Asit and Hitash read okay Asit and Hitash we'll start with um Sanuri can she read well Nishia, so she kind of can't. She cannot read. It's okay. Then you, shy. Read, you read on her behalf about salt and light, the first part. Shall I read for her? Yes, please. Peter, okay. Salt and light. Peter and the other disciples sat listening to Jesus as he taught them things they had never heard before. Jesus said to them, you are like salt here on earth. But if you live like those who don't love God, you'll be like salt that has lost its lost, lost it flavor and become worthless. You are, you are the light of the world. Just as a city on a, on a hill cannot be hidden at night, so the light of your good deeds will shine for all to see. Don't hide your light, but let it shine all around so that so that everyone will praise your heavenly father for the good deeds you do. Okay, so the question is, how can I become salt? I mean, uh, if you run around like crazy, you become sweaty, and sweat is kind of salty. Have you tried licking yourself after running around? It's kind of salty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody, you know, licks their own sweat. You've all tried it. I don't, I'm not saying something disgusting. You all have done it. Don't lie. Some of you have even tried it. Have. And ants are kind of uh, sour, right? <laughs> I haven't. You haven't tried ants? Okay, maybe some of you have, some of you haven't. It's okay. Uh, so let's I have tried it. Talk what? I have tried ants. You've tried ants. Okay, you've tried everything. Some even have tried worms, they told me. Anyway, how can I become yes. salt? Yeah, let's read that part. And um, Mr. Abinesh, are you there? Yes. Will you read for us? Okay, so. All right. Becoming salt has nothing to do with Lot's wife to turn into a, a pillar of salt because she she what? Disobeyed God. 
disobey. Disobey God. In fact, it is only by obeying God that you become salt. As you allow God to use you, you become the salt of the earth. That doesn't mean you will suddenly taste salty, but rather than you will make as much difference to the lives of those of those around you as a tiny bit of salt salt makes to a plate of tasteless food. As salt is sprinkled over food to flavor it, so God has spread believers across the world to flavor it with love. To check whether you have become salt, answer the following question to you. Keep your friends from doing wrong. Pray for those around you. Tell others about Jesus or invite them to church. Encourage those who feel down. If you have said yet to one or more of the questions about you are salt. That's right. Uh, let's read the verse for today and then I'll talk a little bit about it. Okay, ready, go. Let your conversation be Yeah, uh, the interesting thing about salt, salt does a couple of things. First of all, when you have food, you put salt in your food. Why do you do that? It tastes good with salt. <laughs> taste exactly some sometimes food doesn't taste good without salt so you add salt to it if it has no salt at all it's kind of too bland and people people some people cannot eat food without salt in it it makes it more delicious and we we are the salt because we bring flavor into this world and another thing that salt does it keeps things from rotting for example uh fish they salt fish and then they dry it you've seen it right the dried fish they put a lot of salt all over it and then they dry it also uh, other kinds of meat too whatever meat people use they always put a lot of salt on it and then they dry it and the meat does not rot because salt keeps it safe from all the bacterias that make it rot no bacterias are there salt kind of sanitizes it and keeps it from rotting. We are the salt of the earth because we keep we be, because we keep this world from rotting. Because we tell people about what is right and what is wrong. Without God's word, yeah. people will be lost. Yeah. yeah. Say what? I didn't get it. Say it again. I didn't hear it properly. I couldn't she understand. She muted her mic. Yeah, I know. She's asking, how can we be salt? How can we be salt? Here we go. Now, let me, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually getting to it. I'm getting to it. We keep the world from rotting. You know, this world is filled with people who are selfish and who want to gain things and hurt others in the process. We tell people we are being the salt. We tell the people what is right and what is wrong. We point it out. We shine the light. And as we shine, the darkness dissipates. The darkness runs away. The darkness cannot coexist with light. Remember, we talked about it a couple of days ago. We are the light. We are the salt. We make sure that the darkness flees in our presence because we bring light into the world. And what is light? Light is God's word in the same way way we are the salt that keeps it from rotting from becoming too filled with sin we are the ambassadors of god on this planet we represent him this is uh, that that's what it means to be salt anything else about salt that i'm forgetting any interesting things about salt you know when you get a wound sometimes they put salt on it have you ever seen that? They don't. They, they have special medicine, of course. But in the past, when you get a wound, yes. salt on it. Why? It kind of stings and hurts more, but it sanitizes. It kills all the bacteria, even though it hurts. Yeah, Rayandra, speak. Yeah, in the sea also, there are salt water. Where? In the sea? In the sea, yes. Yes. Um, good point. So it sanitizes, it kills the bad bacteria that are that can harm us. Salt does that. 
They put it on wounds when they ha don't have any better medicine. Salt in the ocean, what does it do? Salty water makes you lighter. Did you know that? Water without any salt in it, you're heavier in it. When, when, uh, so you mean when we are in the sea water, we are light? Yes. It, because it's, it's denser than water without any salt in it. So it lifts you up. Salty water makes you lighter than not salty water, than fresh water. Swimming in the swimming pool is more difficult than swimming in the sea. Because there's more salt in the sea and it's denser and you are heavier. See what salt does? It makes our life so much easier. <laughs> not the point. I'm just making things up right now about salt. Anything else about salt? Then, sir, we will take a packet of salt to the school and then we will put them in the swimming pool. Yeah, and it would make it salty, but it would keep it clean. There would be no yellow and green things growing inside. Exactly, the and also it will be uh, uh, more easier to swim. Yeah, and whenever your food is too bland, you know, if you brought some rice and it's too bland without any salt, you just go to the swimming pool, get a cup of swimming pool water and put it in your rice <laughs> to make it salty <laughs> i'm just joking don't do that okay <laughs> some of you might actually do that don't they put chlorine in the swimming pool to sanitize it not salt <laughs> um i think we've talked enough, enough about salt Oh, you know, sometimes when you love somebody very much, like a brother or sister, you want them to be salty. <laughs> and what do you do? You put salt in their tea, right? I have done so. Yeah. That's because you love them so much. After work, I'm the one who makes tea for my big brother. So I put, once I have put salt in it. Rebecca, if you want to become salt, you should ask Janindur Hiruni to put salt in your tea. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a joke. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to drink it. It's going to be too salty. Yeah. 